The Bemidji City Council had to make a tough decision on Monday concerning the fate of the South Shore Beach Project at Lake Bemidji. If the project were to go forward this year, bids need to be made in May, so decisions on how to fund the project have to be settled immediately. The council voted to cancel contractor bids and wait for possible state funding for the estimated $1.4 million lake bed cleanup. Our Sarah Madison has more on the story we first brought to you last night. Every choice the city council made for the South Shore Beach project came with a cost. First, a consultation was prepared to get a cost estimate of the project. Next, a survey was conducted to hear the public's input. And after obtaining all the permits and scheduling a pre-bid meeting on a 5-2 to two vote, the city council decided to cancel the bidding process and investigate more options for funding. The cost of waiting is high, but many council members believe it is worth the wait. I hope others will agree that we need to look for state resources to assist with this. So I think the more partners that we have in this to spread the cost out, the better. One of the things that I love about this community is just we take the time to do things right. They felt there was no need to rush to decisions, especially when taxpayer money is involved. But others say different. And we've made promises and we have to sell property. And in order to sell property, we have to have a beach. We need to do what we, we said and we, we need to clean up that. It's a significant part of developing that whole South Shore. Mayor Rita Albright says the city could apply for the Lesser Sam's Fund and also tap into the trust fund that is generated by the Minnesota State Lottery. The burden for this project I don't think should fall on 50% of the taxable properties in our community. And I really think that for the sake of a half a million dollars, we could wait. But applying for those funds would push the beach project back two years when it was originally supposed to start this fall. It's in all likelihood your bid prices will be higher two years from now than they will be today. Just like it's all likelihood a loaf of bread is going to be higher two years from now than it is today. The cost to rebid the project would be $10,000 and already the city has spent about $50,000 on design, bidding and permits. To me it makes sense if we have the money in hand uh, that we should go ahead and do that. I, I certainly would concur the the internal funding sources are available if that's what you choose to do. And sometimes I feel like we are earmarking the same monies two or three times and I don't know if that's you know that worries me that we can pay for this but then come 2015 when we have higher land bond payments, we're not going to have anywhere to go to for that. The city finance officer says if the city uses money from its reserves, there will not be any funding left for other projects. Cleaning the lake bed is only half the cost. The total expense for a swim beach area could cost more than $3 million. Sarah Madison, Lakeland News. If the city does receive the Lassard Sam's funding, it will not cover any of the park improvement costs and the city would need a referendum for those funds unless the improvements were funded internally. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.